Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today, this is our first episode, so what we're going to be doing is uh, basically getting our project started and then working out how to sort the camera. Um, normally, for a first person game like we're going to create, you would want to use the first person uh, setup that UE provides, but what we're going to do is we're going to be using uh, the third person set up that way we can kind of get the whole body in so when you look down you kind of see your feet for example to do this um we're going to start by clicking up here on the uh, launch engine at the top right so just click on that and it should load up so this will take you through to this uh, you'll see i've already got a few projects up here but for us we're going to just click on games now you'll be seeing you'll be back with these few options here uh first person is what you would normally pick but if you click on this it will only give you the arms and the gun uh what we want is the full body um when you so for imagine with the first person project it's kind of like the first halo where you look down and it was all invisible but what we want is the third person where obviously when you look down you can kind of see your feet and your legs and things like that so just click next uh, and then you'll be met with these options. I work with blueprints. So all my tutorials will be in blueprints. Uh, I will set it to maximum quality. I always enable ray tracing. Uh, desktop console for me and with starter content. Uh, bottom, you'll have uh, your folder. So I'll always bear in mind where you're going to save this. So I keep mine on an external hard drive, for example, because the files can get quite large. Uh, some of you might prefer to keep it on your computer or your uh, laptop but obviously bear in mind where you're keeping that file uh, and then obviously give it a name um, now I've already done this um, because it does take a while to render the actual product itself so once you've clicked create project just leave it a while go make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee um, um, and just wait it out it could take a, a little while depending on the specs of your computer but as I said I've already done this so we can move straight on to the project so so when the project opens, you should be met with something like this in UE5. Uh, it used to be different, but they've updated it recently. Um, so you'll have all this sort of to kind of begin testing things and doing stuff in. So if we click play, you already also will have a character that can walk around, uh, jump, push things, etc. Uh, so it's already pretty kind of well set up to begin with, but of course, this isn't what we want. We want to make uh, a few more adjustments. So let's exit out of that and go back to the main screen. Uh, for this one, we kind of want to get the camera set up in this episode. So if you click uh, Content Draw at the bottom left, uh, it's already in there, but obviously you follow, if it's not, click All Content Third Person and then go into the Blueprints and you'll see our lovely character there. Once this is opened, you should see uh, a screen that looks a bit like this. Now we want to go to the Viewport uh, that is because we want to actually be able to see our character in front of us. Um, and we kind of want to mess around with our camera a little bit. So if we pull this forward and then bring it up so it aligns with the head. Let's move in a bit further. There we go. Now we can socket this uh, camera to something so if we on the left hand side just grab the follow camera section and bring this up and place it on top of the mesh it will now connect itself to the mesh you might have to do a little bit of rotating and things like that um, just to get it correct oh wrong one um, and then just drag it over a bit more oh it's playing uh, hard to get bring it forward and maybe just up a little bit more I think for me you can change this by the way so it doesn't do it in um, such large dimensions uh, there we go and then you can have a little bit more freedom on, on how you kind of place it there we go that's a little bit better bring it forward a bit more um, that should be okay the next thing we want to do is on the right hand side when still selecting the camera you've got a uh, parent socket if you search, you, it'll bring up all of these lovely um, selections. Click head. 
Now it will move it, it will move it, so you'll have to redo it again, but that's okay. Um, it's quite easy to do once you get the hang of it. Um, just kind of drag it around. You also need to rotate it because it's now on its side. Um, like so, bring it around to a 90 degree and push it forward just a wee bit. Uh, there we go. Now that should be correct. So if you compile at the top left, uh, drag that actually and put it onto there. Then go back to your map and click play. We should be able to see it from a first person perspective. Now, if I move my mouse, you can see it's not actually doing anything. That's because we've got to change a few more um, um, options. But also you'll notice as well that if I press forward, it doesn't actually go forward. It goes in the direction of the um, north, south and, south and west. So it'll, it'll not, it's not correct. So exit that and let's go back to our third person graph. So to do that and fix that issue, what we want to do is make sure we've clicked on our follow camera. We want to come down and click use pawn control rotation we then also want to click on our BP third person character and come down here. If I bring this out a little bit more, it should say use controller rotation your. Click that and then compile. And if we go back in and press play, we should now be able to move around with the mouse, which we can. We can see our feet and things like that. And we can now move left, right, uh, forward, back, and it won't affect how the camera. Uh, changes now that is our camera done we've set up our project and we can now move on to some other stuff in the next episode uh, if you've enjoyed this please hit that subscribe button leave a little like and if you want me to uh, go over anything in particular uh, please leave a little comment i'll be more than happy to create a tutorial for this uh, this is going to be a game i'm actually now going to create and make and release hopefully down the line um, I just thought I would do it in a tutorial style. Um, so in the next episode, I'm probably going to cover things like health and um, damage, etc. like that. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.